What's up, LTD Addicts? Let's talk about Email Copy Dino. This is a new deal over at AppSumo, and what it promises to do is ask you a few questions about the product or service that you're offering, and then generate a series of emails automatically for you. Now, this must be similar to what drummers must have felt like in the early 1980s when drum machines started to hit the scene. They all said that, oh, a machine will never be able to replace me. However, if you listen to modern pop radio, you'll be hard press to find an actual live drummer playing a live drum kit. So watch out copywriters, let's not get too cocky and let's give this thing an actual shot. So here is the deal page over at AppSumo. You can see it's for email copy dino. They've got a uh, cute little brontosaurus here or whatever the current proper name is for this dinosaur. Uh, let's scroll down to the deal terms. And you can see this is a very simple deal, just 39 bucks, gets you lifetime access. There's no stacking, no additional need for any extra codes. You get unlimited emails and they let you create two variations for each email sequence that you create. Uh, some other features we'll be looking at in this video are the email tone options. Uh, we'll look at how you export emails and you can do that via PDF. And you can also directly integrate with autoresponders. I'm not gonna actually show you that in this video because I don't use any of the autoresponders that they work with. So uh, that would be difficult for me to set up. Um, and we can see all of the different uh, types of emails that they can create for you. So without further ado, here is the email copy dino dashboard. Now you can see this is a pretty plain vanilla looking dashboard. Uh, I actually really strongly dislike the, the UI here. It's just kind of, um, you know, you can tell that it was done by like a coder or something, right? They didn't actually get an artist or a graphic designer to do this uh, for them. So we've got, you know, kind of three columns here. We can see the emails or we can create new emails. We can see emails that we've already created. And then this option over here was a little confusing to me at first. This says view saved answers. So what's going to happen is we create a new email is it basically gives us a series of questions to answer. Uh, those questions are saved over here where it says saved answers. So if you wanted to regenerate a uh, new email sequence uh, by only modifying a few of the answers, you'll be able to do that over here with the third option. There are some training videos. It's a little deceptive because really there's this one four minute training video. And if you go over here to training, uh, you can see that it looks like there's several others, but this is really just the same video that's on the main dashboard page. And then this over here is also the same video that's on the main dashboard page. So right away, like there's these little red flags to make it look better than it really is, right? It's, we have a how to use email copy dino, and then over here is quick tutorial video. But if you notice the YouTube, uh, the YouTube heading over here, they're exactly the same, email copy dino. Then this one in the middle is kind of like a robo video to teach you how to use the software. So it's only a minute long, um, but it just looks like it's just got kind of like a, you know, text based, uh, nothing wrong with that, but it's, it's clearly not like they've gone to great lengths to educate you on how to properly use the tool. All right. So enough about the, the back end. Let's get into it because if it writes great emails, then what else do we have to worry about? Right. There's not, uh, it's not an extremely steep learning curve here. So I'll hit create email over here and we can see we have nine different types of email sequences it can create for you. Uh, card abandonment ones are very popular and profitable for a lot of e-commerce stores. We can do things like uh, webinar emails to try to get people to register for a webinar. Or if you're an affiliate promoter like I am, I mean, essentially, uh, I'm probably not people's favorite affiliate because I tell it to you like it is. Like right away, you might tell I have a little attitude with this product because it just doesn't seem like it's fully fleshed out yet. Uh, but I do affiliate promotion. So let's, let's check that out. What that means is basically I sell other people's software. Now I don't do it in a very harsh way because uh, I'm honest and say whether I believe in the software or not and help you make a decision uh, of whether it's a good investment or not. So here we have two tones that we can take. We can have a soft pitch or a more aggressive pitch. I did notice that for some of these options, like I think it was the discount offer. It still asked me what tone I'd like to take but there is only one option, right? And it just says standard. So these are the little things, like if I'm going to invest in some software, if this is a paid tool, just you know, bypass that. There's only one option, so you shouldn't need to take me through it. It's also interesting, if I'm just gonna critique the UI a little bit more, that this is the very first screen, yet there is a previous and next button. So if I hit previous, you know, nothing happens. It's, it's just a little bit of laziness on the UI. You can see it kind of throughout 
the application. All right, so let's head back into the affiliate promotion here. And you know what? I'm going to choose the soft pitch because, uh, you know, I don't really want to do a hard, aggressive pitch, although it might be interesting to see what that language is like. So uh, here is the beginning of the, the survey or the questionnaire that they present to you. We can see up at the top, there are five different steps. We're going to do the getting started. Tell me about your product. Tell me about your audience testimonials and guarantee, and then the roundup. So what I decided to do here was just to take a AppSumo product, right? So I promote AppSumo products. Let's say I was going to generate some emails to try to get people to buy an AppSumo product. You can see this is live webinar, and you can, of course, pick up live webinar at get that LTD life, uh, get dot that LTD life slash live webinar. This ends in five days. This is unfortunately one of the videos I did not get around to uh, making a tutorial on. I definitely plan to, uh, but it's expiring five days, so I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get to it before it expires. If you wanna grab it, maybe I'll make an email sequence and try to uh, encourage you to buy it, uh, although I'm, you know, hopefully you can understand I'm doing this very tongue in cheek. So here is the name of the profile, and we've got a little hint down at the bottom. It says, no one sees this except for you, so I will call this live webinar sales letters. My name, my name is Dave, and my tagline, I'll just put uh, that LTD life. All right, experience level, uh, it says, you know, you kinda wanna fill in the blanks here. So the sender of this email is a digital marketer. All right, great. And I'll go to next, and we've got a whole series of questions here. Now, I won't uh, bore you to death by answering every single one of them, but I will just kinda talk through them and uh, point out the ones that I think are most interesting. So the name of the product, of course, I'm gonna type in live webinar, and this is webinar software for the type of product. The name of the vendor, I'm going to put uh, AppSumo, even though it's not technically the vendor. I, I, well, maybe it is, I'm not sure how you'd actually consider that. What does the product do? It's, uh, well, let's, let's actually grab some AppSumo copy because we have, you know, as an affiliate marketer, often you have sales copy that you can use. We'll say it impresses clients with professional presentations without worrying about audio and video performance. All right, I like that. That's actually pretty good copy, nicely done, AppSumo. So I'm gonna head back over here to the email type and I'll say, uh, this product will help you impress clients with professional presentations. All right, so again, we're kind of trying to fill in the blank here, uh, complete the sentence. This product will help you and then complete the sentence. Now this definitely raises a red flag to me because that's not grammatically accurate here. You would say, who is your target audience? So if this software is going to be generating emails on my behalf, I would hope they can at least get the grammar right in the surveys that they're asking. So who is your target audience? This product is for you if you are on an... All right, that's a weird way to, um, to, to kind of leave me with a fill in the blank. This product is for you if you, if you are an... Um, let's say... We'll say sales and marketing team looking to engage with customers and generate leads. All right, let's grab that and we'll just paste it right in here. So the one thing that, you know, as I'm doing this might kind of stand out to you is you'd have to be able to write at least this good to be able to fill out the questionnaire so that they had good copy to work with, right? Because this is really just, you know, kind of filling out a form. So if you're not, if, if writing isn't your thing and you're thinking, well, this is going to save me so much time, it's still gonna take a decent amount of time because you need to be able to express ideas and sales messages rather concisely. So uh, just bear in mind that this is not the one-stop all kind of replacement for copywriters. What makes this product better than similar ones out there? Well, I'm not gonna use the AppSumo copy for this. I will just say, um, you know, this is the, it's, well, here's the problem. It says, this is the first product that as the fill in the blank. It's not necessarily the first product, but I will say uh, that offers, a one-time payment, obviously that's the benefit of buying something on AppSumo over a monthly cost. Um, so that's what makes it better right now than other similar ones. Um, you know, there are probably better software tools out there if you go to something that's, you know, very well established, like go to webinar, but you need to be spending, you know, hundreds of dollars per month on that. Whereas you can just spend a few hundred dollars once with live webinar and get, you know, similar results. How long will it take for your customers to achieve the promised results? And here it says the fill in the blank is kind of, it only takes, and I'll say uh, five minutes to set up a new webinar. When is this product launching? Uh, this product or service will be on sale from today until November 3rd. So I'm kind of, 
uh, hacking the system here a little bit. They want to know the launch date, but really I want to express scarcity. So I'm including the closing date. Uh, hopefully that works out with the templates. All right, I've answered all of these questions for step two. Let's go over to step three. Step three uh, says, tell me about your audience. Although, you know, another little UI glitch here, you can't even see the T and tell me. Uh, in fact, that is the case on all of these. It's just really simple uh, CSS errors that uh, are underneath. So I'm not trying to be too critical, but I don't have a whole lot of hope that I'm gonna end up with emails I'd actually uh, be proud to send out here, although I haven't seen them yet. So uh, you're gonna see them when I see them. We're going through this together. Maybe it'll be amazing. So uh, frustrations faced by your customers without using my products or services, you would find it difficult to... So here the AppSumo deal talks about calling the IT team. So we'll say that it makes it easy to start making presentations without calling the IT team. So to answer this question, uh, without using my product or service, you'll find it difficult to uh, create a killer presentation without calling the IT team. Now, I gotta say that I am a professional copywriter and these are very similar to the questions that I ask my clients when I'm trying to write sales letters or sales emails for them. However, I can't imagine that, I mean, you almost always as a copywriter need to reconstruct how they say things because, you know, if, if they knew how to say them in a way that created sales, they would say it that way in the first place. So I feel like I should probably just try using bad copy, like, you know, like a normal person, how they would talk or explain their product uh, rather than kind of using the AppSumo copy that is professionally created. So that may be a downside of how I'm approaching this. This next section is about what is not working for your customers right now. Uh, so it says, since you do not have access to a product or service like this, your present alternative is to. So what else do people do instead of hosting webinars? Well, maybe they send out uh, you know, email marketing, right? So they're just doing emails. All right. So your present alternative is to send email blasts or social media posts. And the disadvantage to this is that you will be unable to answer people's questions in real time, like you can on a webinar, at least a live one anyway. All right, so this next section is about questions asked from your customers. So I just went over to the AppSumo deal page and pillaged the question section uh, for replies that already occurred from the developer. So I've got a few questions here, like do we get future updates? Who is the team behind live webinar? And how many codes does it take to stream to YouTube? All right, so I've entered those questions. Let's move along to the next section. This one is going to be all about uh, testimonials and a guarantee. So what I'm gonna do is just mention the AppSumo 60 day refund policy. So I'm offering a guarantee on this product for 60 days. Now testimonials about the product, I can enter in names and testimony. So I'm just gonna go through the review section of AppSumo and paste those in here, and then we'll be almost done. All right, so I just went through and grabbed the first three reviews on the AppSumo page. You can see that they're all complete here. I'll go ahead and hit next. All right, this last section is all about scarcity. So I just entered in that the deal is gonna expire in five days and that people should click the link below to get the LTD before it's gone for good. All right, let's hit the button here and write the email sequence. Let's see what they come up with. All right, so just like that, a full five email sequence was created about live webinar. You can see the subject line for the first one is my honest review of live webinar. That would actually fit very much with the tone that I would send out in an email. Uh, email number two, let's see what this one says. Uh, again, it, okay, here we go. Ooh, this one looks a little bit funky. Uh, there's some spacing issues here and I can't actually edit it. That's strange. I can't add a space in there. So I wonder if that is something I'd have to go back into the questionnaire. Uh, it says this webinar software helps you gather data. I mean, this is really long for a subject line. I definitely would not use that. Uh, subject lines, you know, you can really only see the first four or five words on your phone. So I would definitely keep it more short than that. Uh, how to webinar software in five minutes to set up a new webinar. Uh, these subjects are all pretty terrible. Uh, I haven't even read the emails yet, but I'm already kind of like, ah, oh, this is about what I expected. Uh, all right, so going to email number three, uh, can 100 people be wrong about this? Um, you know, that's again, kind of a weird subject line, but maybe that would actually get read. All right, let's go to email four and look at the subject line here. Isn't this what you want? Uh, and then email five says, two types of people on earth, where do you belong? Uh, and then here's some variations. Do you belong in class A or class B? 
I belong to class B, where do you belong? All right, so these are kind of weird subject lines, not really relevant to live webinar, um, but maybe they get people to open them. They're just weird enough that maybe people would open up the emails to see what it's about. I don't really like that strategy. Uh, you know, I like clarity in the subject line because I want someone to open that email if they actually care and if they're actually gonna engage after the fact. So. Uh, if I'm sending the emails to people who don't care, I want to change that, right? I want to send out emails to people who actually, um, you know, want to know about the content. Uh, beyond that, if I'm sending people uh, cryptic emails and they're opening them, well, I'm not going to get very good click-through rates and my my marketing numbers are going to be kind of poor there, which actually in the end will, def will affect my email deliverability. So uh, this approach, while it might get you some high click-through rates uh, right away is kind of you know, up in the air. So uh, let's go through and look at a little bit of one of these emails. So it says, hey, first name. Uh, now, obviously you need to update that to work with whatever autoresponder you are using. We'll look at the integrations here in a second. Uh, but this is like a little, uh, you know, code. A lot of autoresponders will use codes to personalize emails. It says a brand new webinar software just got launched today and I think you might be interested in it. Here's why. It'll help you gather. Uh, so, you know, this is obviously, I'd have to change this because the, the software did not get launched today. Uh, it will help you gather data on leads and integrate with your CRM. So this is what I pasted in. Now I've taken the time to go through this webinar software and I've done an honest, honest and critical review of it. So the copy there is not terrible. Uh, here's a link to the review. Obviously I need to update this with an actual link to a review that I never created. Uh, here's a summary of the review. It's gonna be helpful to sell sales and marketing teams. Um, so I recommend this 100%. Now I never recommend any software 100%. So, uh, you know, this is obviously more of a, a sales pitch. All right, some copy down here it says very important. If you check it out and you love it, don't hesitate to pick it up. There's a discount currently available on it and it's going to expire in less than 24 hours. That's interesting that it says that when I actually entered in the uh, time that it would take for it to expire, which was five days. So go here and get the details, another link. So I'd have to update this all with links. So it'd be nice maybe if they just asked me like what my affiliate link was and then they could put those links into the emails for me. It seems like that would be uh, kind of an easy step that I expect to be built into the process. All right, so I just went through all five of the emails and my opinion on them are not very positive if you haven't gathered already. They're fine. Uh, you definitely have to spend quite a bit of time tweaking them to fit the tone of your product, uh, to fit the details of the product because there's just not quite enough information from those questionnaires that get inserted. Uh, you know, I think having your own personality in your emails is going to get you a lot farther than just having a machine kind of generate them at this point. Now, I'm not, uh, you know, saying that this could never happen, that these tools will not get good enough uh, that you can rely on them. Uh, but I think right now, the way you're going to stand out with your customers is having, you know, don't worry about having the most perfect uh, sales sequence. Just, you know, be honest, be, uh, you know, authentic to what your brand is about and make a decent offer and, and sell a really good product. And that's how you're gonna win the hearts and minds of your customers. These emails, uh, you know, if everybody's sending out the same emails, like it's gonna get, you're gonna hit a similar audience eventually and they're, they're not gonna work. I don't think they'll work right now, to be honest. So uh, let's, before we wrap this up, I'm gonna show you the integration. So this does connect right up to Aweber, GetResponse, SendGrid, MailChimp, uh, uh, Kyvio, not Klaviyo. Uh, Lemlist and Snowvio. So these are two cold outreach tools. And then these are some uh, of the other major autoresponders. So overall, these are some decent platforms to partner with. Uh, however, I would definitely need to spend a ton of time going through those emails that it just would not be worth it to me. So if you're an online business owner and you're looking to find a way to create more emails to reach out to your customers, and you definitely should because email is a great platform to generate sales for your business. Well, unfortunately, I just cannot recommend Email Copy Dino in its current state. Uh, you know, this thing looks like it needs a few years of really steady development for it. it's actually going to help send out emails that are going to generate a profit. So I'm going to give this tool a score of 4.3. I just, just avoid it. Just don't get Email Copy Dino. That's going to do it for this review. I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, you can click the link down in the description. That helps support the channel. Head over to AppSumo and make all your purchases through our link. And yes, it does even help us out, even if you've already purchased on AppSumo. That's a question I get asked uh, quite frequently. Uh, we are affiliates. We are not using the referral link. So I think uh, that is where the confusion can come in for some people. Uh, for referrals, you get a credit with AppSumo for the first time you draw in a new customer. 
For affiliates, we get a small commission each time you make a purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps uh, allow us to spend the time and energy to create software reviews like this one. So before I go, I want to remind you to head over to the Facebook group and sign up to become a member of the That LTD Life community, and I'll see you in the next review.